we're talking I said, about. I said, hold up. I have we have a we have a website, right? We have different groups. We have a skilled worker, a skilled group we call the Dujas, right? We have the STEM group, right? And then inside those group, we have different chapters, right? Inside each city, right? You can get in touch with people and on the and the individual say, yo, look, yeah, I can learn this. Aviation mechanics. Oh Lord. Oh, Alquan. Okay. All right. I'm in a good, I'm in a humorous mood tonight, so I'll deal with Alcoon tonight. Anyway, no, it just depends, man. I mean, if people don't bring anything, yeah, you know what I mean? We just have to the let them go, you know? man. I mean, so you have therefore, to... therefore, therefore, if you read our social network, right, you get inspired, right? Say, man, I like to go over here. I see that. Uh, uh, let me give you an example. Uh, if we have a mining group, right? We have people in there that, that know all kinds of stuff about mining, right? And then people take the initiative to learn about the trade, learn about mining, learn about uh, uh, diamond cutting, whatever they want to do, right? And they learn that, right? You have a place to learn that. You have to learn on your own, right? And then once you basically say, you know, look, man, I had we had got I had a guy that was with me, Mike California, even though we we parted ways or whatever like that. When I when I first came on Block Talk Radio back in two thousand nine, he didn't have any skill set and everything. So I started doing a Block Talk Radio show. I said, "Stem," he said, "Collar, I like you and everything, but I feel kind of bad. My feelings hurt because you always talking about education, skills, and everything, right? But yet, you guess guess what?" Five years later, this brother got a master's degree in quantum physics because he was inspired by the stuff I was saying. He took it among, he took the initiative to get himself in school and educate himself. Same thing I tell people all the time. You may not know anything, but you say, you know something? You know, I want to get into that welding program. I want to get into become a mechanic. I want to become this, you know? And therefore, therefore, you have something to bring to the table. As far as like the Pan-African, man, the Pan-African world. That's what well, we're perfect, talking brother. About. Perfect, perfect, brother. You perfect. Uh, I hope I answered the question. I'm hoping you uh, did for him. Uh, you, you, you're clear with me. Um, let me see if he has, um, brother Tabula. Did I answer your question, or did any of us answer your question? Yes, yeah, somewhat. Yes, it did. Yes, it, you you have to take the initiative, and you all are more focused on Africa, not America. No, no. Let me say this. You focus. Let me let me say something. Let me say something, brother. We're focused on black people, right? And we're saying that black people have to can't not be confined to the borders of America. We cannot be that people that's confined. To, that's what's holding us back. We're not a global people. It's not just um, Africa, right. It's not just after we want people, black people in America. If there's opportunity in China, be there. If there's opportunity in Japan, be there. Japanese years ago reached out to Black uh, Ebony magazine and said, look. Uh, black uh, Japan wants uh, Black America to start. Uh, uh, they love sweet potato pies. They said, "Man, you come over here, you make a fortune because Black people they like African American cuisine." And they said, "Come over here and make money." Japan's a big economy, and a lot of white people don't want to go in Japan because they don't like white people don't like living like foreigners in in Japan. So they said, "But Black people in America, so a lot of Black people in America live in Japan now, and they make a lot of money uh, uh, opening restaurants and." And doing a lot of stuff like this, you know. So get in where you fit in. It's all about being global. It's all about being global in the global economy. Whether it's Dubai, whether it's uh, Australia, wherever it is, you know, where's Mumbai, wherever it is, we want black people. Whether it's South Africa, Cape Town, you know, there's always something for place where you go. So therefore, when we have this global infrastructure, right? You may be in one country and everything, and somebody said wants to put a bid on a contract. That we're doing in one country and everything like that and so you that person could be the go-between so in other words basically we're saying that you know if we're global and we got global connections we're making we're doing business globally we we that's what we bring to the table as far as the pan-african world and also in america right we have all kind of tremendous resources as far as like uh grants or, or uh, uh overseas loans to do business in, in foreign countries we have sister city projects right which uh, uh um you could tap into your local city. We have uh, cities in America investing uh, vested pension funds in developing countries, you know. And so we sit on many uh, uh, pension fund boards, uh, uh, city workers pension fund boards throughout America. How do you think Bob Johnson got those hotels built in the Caribbean? He tapped into cities like Baltimore and Atlanta's pension fund loans program, same way the mob did when they tapped into the Chicago pension fund loans to build hotels in Las Vegas. So he did the same thing. Sony Records. How do you think Sony's big? Sony tap, taps into the New York State and uh, 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 pension funds and stuff like that for loans and stuff like this. All these things we have access to in America, right?
but we don't we don't do that. You know, we don't uh, take advantage of the opportunity. And a lot of times, mm -hmm. these cities we don't friggin' uh, 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 we don't uh, uh, bother trying to learn about these things because we we're just foolish people. We got people we we got pension funds that we sit on in the city, uh, billions and billions of dollars. Right, somebody else is making money. Just the same way Joe Biden gave. Uh, we elected this guy president, right? And he gives Ukraine eighty billion dollars and nothing for Black America, nothing for Africa, anything. So therefore, what I'm saying is this: so we have to start being strategic. I voted for Trump. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that's that's wonderful. Uh, and the same time to Kala and um, Tabula, uh, Alquan, welcome to the call. Uh, right, introduce you. yourself and uh, let us know what you want to share with us tonight. Hey, how you, how you fellas doing? Uh, you know, I came here to share some wisdom and some insight as usual. And uh, <laughs> real. <laughs> and what I want to do, I want to believe it or not, this might shock you, but I actually fully support this Afrikistan, Afrikistan uh, concept. Oh boy! Believe, believe it or not, I actually support that, and I believe wholeheartedly that. If people who call themselves Pan Africans uh, and who revolve their lives around Africa, or whose lives revolve around Africa, and who worship Africa in effect, I believe and I support uh, the Afrikistan uh, uh, concept and any other relocating to Africa concept on one condition. And this is where what's that guy that that, that was in charge of the BAIO? What's, what's the name of that guy? It's me. Forget, huh? No, the other guy. Oh, uh, forget about him. Okay, yeah, I guess so too. Because yeah, we, me and him used to go at it because I would say one thing: you guys got to get to Africa. Just go there. <laughs> That's hold up, system. <laughs> yeah, hold up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and him used to go at it. My man couldn't deal with this force. So my man just uh <laughs> my man just just got to the name calling. But I think uh you you so you have to show the people most first of all, I'm I'm being real. Most of uh black America, and it's almost 100 percent they're not concerned with Africa uh in any kind of way for a number of reasons. However, but if you want us to get concerned with Africa, you have to lead the way. You have to go to Africa. See, when you guys are chilling in a particular city in the United States and you're talking all this Africa stuff, it makes us, and you're not in Africa, it sends the message to us that, well, it, whatever is going on that you claim is going on there can't be too great or else you would be on top of everything. Let See, me ask you a question, Al, Al Kuhn. Let me ask you a question. Well, it's Al Kwan. That's <laughs> Al Kuhn. Okay, let me ask you a question. Okay, right now we have space programs, right, where you have people who um going to uh, going to talk about building on Mar the planet Mars, right? You you know that, right? Okay. Now let me ask you a question, right? These people are talking about, yeah, you know, uh, 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 George Bush. There was, yeah, we're gonna, George Bush made a speech about we're going to colonize Mars. Everybody laughed and everything. Yeah, we're going to be on Mars. We're going to put man on Mars and everything like that, right? Now let me ask you a question, right? Did George Bush, uh, George W. Bush, ever go to the Mars? I can answer that, but you have to answer, did they get it started yet? I'll say, I'll say yeah, well, yeah, they are. They got Range Rovers. You, know, you, you haven't understood the space program. They got people uh, they're sending, uh, uh, setting up stuff on the country market. They got uh, spaceships and stuff like that, ro ro uh, rovers running around on the planet Mars and whatnot. You know, stuff okay, like well, that. Okay, well, it sounds like they're, they're trying. They're, 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 looking at, they're, looking, they're looking at finding water and life on Mars and whatnot. They got robots on the, con on the, on the planet. Humans? You know, no, uh, not humans, you, robots, you know. Okay, drones. Yeah, whatever, whatever they got over there. What I'm saying is this though, should because they're not living there themselves, right? Should they stop what they're doing? Well, I mean, they're actually according to you, they're actually uh setting up shop and, and preparing Okay, so the, let me uh, ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Bomani, Bomani, can you show him the picture of the uh, Gazaji community right there in uh they can you put that picture up? But see, we have to make sure that Mars is no, inhabitable. No, 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 look, 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 but look, we look. know Africa is inhabitable. A drone. Put, listen, put the, the there is down. nothing that would there was nothing that would make <laughs> sense to be in Mars when it's so it's so much different, and you don't have a whole society, and you don't have infrastructure built to care for you. A drone cannot protect you. 
It can only Uh-oh, you can only use you can only be on earth predicting what could happen. And there's things that they have not contemplated on that planet that they well, don't know no, nothing no, about. Let me say this, brother. I don't agree with going to Mars. I don't say that, but I'm saying that people still talk about they can make a go of it. Now let them, saying, let, now, let now, them now, do it. That, then then let them it. then let them go there. There has to be people that have to die first. Okay, it's a so new territory. Now, if with that, using that analogy, right, Brother mm-hmm. Bamani, right, we have a community like this in Ghana, people living on the ground. So we show that black people from America and the diaspora can actually build a community in Africa. That is not the same thing as Mars, brother. No, but uh, according to Alcorn, it is. No, 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 well, no. You brought up the Mars. Uh, no, no, uh, no, no. Al- he's only asking you about, like, if I leave America... If I leave America or if I am able, if the people that know what you need them to know come there, is it going to be like going to Mars? You're already there. We're saying, we're say, we're saying that we help people that are able, like Bobani and I will, if people aren't ready, we'll tell you, no, you're not ready. We'll tell what you, about, like, you. What about yourselves, though? Uh, me, I'm like this. We're working here in America, right? <laughs> and it's going to take time to transition to the continent. We're, you're we're in America? Up, we're set, hold on. We're setting this up. For the future, we're building these communities for the future, and then one day I will be living on the continent. Okay, so why are you critiquing uh, George Bush uh, with uh, Mars situation? No, he's setting I'm, it up for I'm the future. Saying, what I'm saying is, you said, hold up, you said that uh, uh, you have not gotten anything set up, and I just showed you we do got something set up. Oh, oh what I mean by that, I mean set up for you guys to be there, because well, obviously we, the, the, we, Africa oh, is the place to be. So, you, we, we got so you, sh- you should up. be there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got people set yeah. up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah, the thing of it is, the thing of it is. You, you you don't just move to Africa and just you know the people that all the people that I know the majority of people that I know that's living there are retired people or people who are you know they that's what they built to set up to live there. Oh, retired or, people. Or, well, they're not a retired community. They they have their houses and just regular uh, people just, who were easier to con, right? They, what they do is uh, they moved and they they got a house in a regular neighborhood and they they're living and everything and they're retiring, they're enjoying their life and they're doing wonderful things. But what we're doing is we're trying to take it to another gate level to where we have a younger people and a younger generation. And that's what the infrastructure in the comes in at. So in, in order for you to do that, you have to build that. You can't just send people. I mean, well, people well, are still well, going. I, I don't, I don't mean to interrupt, but I, I think you guys are kind of overreading what I'm saying. I'm not talking about uh, 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 sending others by the plane loads. You're about, not there. You, yeah, they're, that's it. That's it. They're yes, not I, there. Neither I, one of you are there. And I heard you loud and clear. Can you like, I heard you loud and clear. I'm not there. I'm in Africa. Last year, I was in five different countries. The year before, the same thing. Okay, That's, That's not That's the point. Tourist. The point is you don't stay there 24-7 no. and you don't have okay, so like... What is your point? So what is your point? So do I need that to... Was the, that, is his, that is his point because if you were there and you developed a relationship daily to where you would have enough power that if people moved there, they would actually understand that they would have somebody there to be able to negotiate, not just because you toured it. Can you hear me? I have an office there with two Americans, vice president and a secretary. They're both Americans. They're there. there. So am I supposed to be in Senegal, the Gambia, Tanzania, South Africa? I'll tell you where you're not not supposed to be at. I'll tell you where you're not supposed to be at. Uh, Hold on for a second. Before you talk, I'm going to meet you guys because... I'm not here to sit and, and argue and debate with you because you, you guys are not on my level to argue and debate, number one. And do, what you need to do is learn. So let me explain to you. To, and let me ask you this. Let me explain to you so you're clear. We're trying to build our future in Africa. In order for you to build it, you need to build your headquarters. You spent all this time in America. Our ancestors spent all this time struggling. You don't just get up out of here and leave with nothing. You use the resources that's at your, that you have access to and you build what you're building. I can show you the whole, the whole, the whole land videos over and over of what we have built there, and we have people living there. It doesn't matter if I'm there. I'm not in a position to do it. My best position is here. The organizer people I need to organize. I take over 50 to 100 people to Africa every year. So am I supposed to simply just do that in Africa? It doesn't work that simple because you need you need to be able to have the infrastructure that you need. If you're there in Accra and you're trying to do some of the things I do here on a daily basis, you're not gonna get what you can get done. As you can get done in this office that I built from the ground up here in Georgia, that's the reason why I'm not there. So what I've what, what we have decided to do is put our money together, get land, and build those institutions and build those things there on the continent, so we can have our base of operations. So right now we have a 
office there and we have people working there. So I'm here in a position to get things done. They're not going to be here to do, can do what I can do. I have a whole business enterprise that I've built and you don't just get up and leave that. So Carla, I don't know if, um, unmute yourself, Carla. I don't know if these guys understand our point. But you know I, I mean? just like you went to Liberia, you, just like you went to Liberia, you scope things out. W one of the first person you came back and talked to was myself. And then next thing you know, me and you talk and we're billing. We built the itinerary. We built a setup to go to Liberia. We're going to go to the country. We're going to build what we can build. And then after a while, we can make a move there. You, the topic of what we're talking about, because people are doing stupid stuff. And, you know, I've been helping people move to Africa from 2007, but I've never advised any of them to do the stupidity that people are doing. I always advise them that these are all my brothers and sisters, all, all, the, all of our brothers and sisters here. That's from the African diaspora. And then these are our people that we have good connections with. Make it work with the people that we have set up. You know, but people go and then they run into strangers. Oh, this guy told me that he's a prince. And so I'm going to give him my, you know, my, you know, my inheritance. And, you know, he's going to give me land and I'm going to do this. You know, so in order for this to work is we need to have our communities there set up. So when any of us make a move, we can get connected to the right set of people to make things work. So that's what me and my brother here is doing that. I'm doing that in Ghana and we're also working towards Liberia. So I know people I like support. to argue, support. oh, why, why you guys don't, why don't you guys live in Africa? And then we tell them, it's like, we just spent the last 10 minutes explaining to you why we don't live in Africa. And at the oh, same okay. time, too, it's a situation where, you know, I have a child right back there. He's right there, right back there with his you friend. Know, you know, children, children can go on planes, you know, right? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, my son, my, <laughs> if you haven't watched my videos, my son been traveling me to Africa for from two years old, and now he's 12 years old. He's been traveling to oh, Africa okay. with me for 10 straight Man. years he had not missed any of those 10 years that's beautiful you know? and it costs a lot of money for those things and things like that and also you can't just take a child out of a good education good school mm. that you have in america yes america have good schools and then take them to where you're going africa you with have the poor uh, school. schools right? so yeah. in that community yeah, also that we, we want we're gonna build in that community that i have we don't have the school established just like on our paperwork do you have a university there? do you have schools there? yes but do we have the schools that people like myself like I came up from a technical school, a transit tech uh, high school in Brooklyn, New York. Phenomenal school. And even when I went back there a few months ago to talk to some of my brothers, we talked about the great education that we got to learn electrical and electronic system, which have paid our career to this day, even including my career and things like that. So we just need to use what we have here to get things set up. So what we are doing is drawing a bridge. We're building a permanent bridge. We're a building pipeline. a pan Africans towards nation. So, the, so the, some of our sharp minds need to stay where they are. But while I have people calling me, reaching out to me, I'm helping them set up on a regular basis. But I don't know what else to tell people why I'm not in Africa. Well, no, that, was, that was good. So basically you're saying, you know, what, what the truth is, is that, you know, Africa is just not developed enough for you to be there at this moment, which is which is uh, that I appreciate the honesty in that. Uh, no, I'm not talking about Africa itself because you have development across Africa. I need to build my headquarters in order for me to move from America to Africa. I'm not just going to this. But you said headquarters. Out. How can you can't just build a house? Because some people, here's the thing. A lot of people, they try to sell well, us. We have something. a business house there. It's not enough. I need a headquarters. I need you, to build. You, uh, uh, my, uh, I need uh, to build uh, black. Uh, right, let me, let, we need to build black. We need to, this is what we need to build. We need to build black African infrastructure. So what that is, is us building all the things that we need. It's not just going somewhere and building a house. We, we, we're using sustainable technology to the highest level. All that stuff takes a while to plan out. Um, I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to justify anything, but it's like what we're telling people is we're making moves to Africa to live and do business on an organized plan. We're not getting up on emotions or getting up because, you know, some uh, one of our brothers got executed by the police and, this, and then people in the world saying that, oh, this is going all over. We're not getting emotional like that or we're not just running to Africa and just giving up what we have. We need to do things on a more organized level to where, we just well, we just take the most out did of you, it. Did and you say business? Things. Excuse me. Did you say you, you the primary goal is business? Because I thought it was to build an Afro Afro stand. Uh, well, how you gonna build? How you gonna do that? You, you gotta get you gotta get involved in business. So that's what we do. We're getting involved in business. So this uh, is what we. Have so to so it's not really work. about the people then. Oh, so so so. Well, no, well, listen, point, listen here. Think, think of it. That's why I get. To, that's why I don't like talking to people who don't have business and don't have anything going yeah, for yeah, themselves. Yeah, because well, I mean, this is the reason for talking because we get understanding and clarity. I don't well, know I, it, it, you, you just arguing to argue. The, in order for you to build what you need to build, you have to build some level of business. So, like, I have, I have a, Africa tours and investment business, take people to Africa. So, what am I supposed to just do everything for free and do it? 
It's like people who don't understand business and things. It's like you well, they won't work for free, but they want you to well, build a well, business. See, here, here's the thing. I, I'm a little confused. While you're building because... this business, you're taking the money from the business you're building and you're investing it back in your own enterprise. So that's how we got the land. That's how we got the office. Right. That's how we got basic things started. So I guess I'm, I'm confused. That we can do, the more business that we can do, the better we can actually reinvest that money back into something that we're, when we're I ready to make the move, we have, our, we have our business office, we have people working there. And then also we're, ch- we're training young generation of people and we're bringing our, ch- our children with us also. And we're teaching them a whole enterprise from technology and business administration, from Africa tours, investment, real estate development, and so on and so on. The, the whole aspects of what we're talking about we, that's why we show our, our flyers, our website, our postcard, and let people know what we're doing. So the goal is to get more of us in business so we can build this global black oh, okay. business pipeline. All right. Now, now I got you now. See, because I, I guess maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I, I was under the impression that there was a pan-African thing uh, that was uh, uh, developed to push the people and to build the people into a brother worldwide brotherhood thing no, as opposed dude, get, to a business. Get this clown off the uh, See, they get can't him, take man. it. They can't take it. They can't take it. Yeah, get, get him out of too, here. Too black, cool. too black, too strong. Well, call too it, black, call, it, call, it, call it. Don't, don't tell them to go, see, because you'll have 100,000 black people that'll say and feel what he feel. I just heard Bomani say something. It has to be, you all are both in America, correct? Yes, yeah. both America, okay, both so, so that's why I'm asking you. See, we're in America. The first thing we need to do is what's happening in America. So the people that are in America, the businesses that are in America, we have to get them interested. So if a person have worked a job and he never had a business. Yeah, I would. What, I would what, what, no, listen, huh? I don't want anybody. I don't. This is not for. People just, uh, uh, just oh, I'm going to start a business. With my business. Most people no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I said if a person never did that, there's things that since we're over here, you need people to be invested in businesses. We got to grow our oh, network over question. here. Let me ask you a question. Give me your definition of a business. How is it set up? What type of business is it? Supply business? Okay. Whatever. What is it? Now, now, he just said we have to build infrastructure from here over there. So yeah. if we're over here, no matter what business the person's involved in, I don't care if they cut grass, if they can invest well, hold on, in hold a on. business, if they can invest something. their money hold in let somebody me, that's actually a scientist. Let me, let me, let me say something to, to a little bit. First of all, we break business down into several different categories, right? One is when we talk about business on this level right here, we're talking about people who could do logistics and critical infrastructure. OK, that's really that's high level. That's not cutting. Grass, okay. OK. And so, therefore, when we talk about business, we're talking about people who can set up ITC centers, right? You know, that's another uh, uh, business. We have people like I got people in my organization that can do fiber optics and computer programming and stuff right. like. That. You know, I got people that, that work. You know, these are the people that we're trying. We're building a pipeline with that with a time. Are they over there right, right now? No, but they're gonna. They will be. I got some people. Okay, so if they're not over there right now, every day the time passes, so, they don't have no people. These people. Listen, what I'm saying. I got people here that are doing really well in America, right? Make, doing mi- million dollar contracts, okay? When the time comes, right? When we uh, have a program that we can sit down and negotiate with whoever, whether it's the African government or the Chinese and everything, and we start bidding on contracts and stuff like that, we're going to have our people in the pipeline. That's what a pipeline is. You have the people mm-hmm. ready to go. You understand? But they have not lived there long enough it for them to know it the it terrain. Does, it, does not, it doesn't matter. We're building these communities and everything. We're going to build these industrial zones, all stuff like this. It does not matter. These people I mean, ready to it, go. It's just different levels to this whole situation. So, you know what I mean? If you just on the lowest level, this you just need to pick up a history book and learn why we're doing what we're doing. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not. I'm not. That's not it. It's I listen to. I listen to you, Bamani, and you were stressing. You stay here because you have to stay here because that's what's going to strengthen you being able to take care of things over there. Right. Yeah. Because okay. So that that, that means that means if, if, if you if you all if you all use that same method of approach and talk to every person that's in America the same way, get your business straight here. Because if we don't get our business straight here, we don't work together here in infrastructure over here first. We there's no infrastructure in Africa. America. We can't build infrastructure in America. What are you talking about? But that's what he's saying he has to do here. This is where he's I'm doing his not, business here. Yeah, I mean, because 
Because I work hard to build what I need to build here. So in order for me we to have move the to Africa, I need to work hard to build. Okay, what that, I need that's to build here. Bomani, That's what I'm saying. Bamani is building here. So if he would just what he does, he does like the African tours. Okay, now getting other people interested in building an infrastructure in America so that we could go to that's the United Nations. That's you know people that are uh, dealing with African countries. You know, we have to, like you say, be better over here so the people that go will have a foundation of people over here that support them because they got to go ahead. Oh, we have it's that's not, we it's, got we got my organization in Bamani, the uh, Africa, Africa, and we got the okay, Africa. but you're not trying to build with people here because you say we can't. We do got people over here. What are you talking about? We got chapters in every state. But well, that's what I was just saying. That's what I was just asking you. I, 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 I told you, I said, you go to the website, right? You see how we got it set up, and then you talk. Okay. This is not all that I have here. I have this business here. I'm not saying that you all don't. It's just if I was to go, if I found a person that said, "Hey, I'm trying to invest. I'm I'm a scientist. I'm a doctor. What would I tell them to well, do?" You tell them to join our social network and get in contact with us and our sci join our science group. Okay. So I mean, yeah. I, I, again, it looks—it yeah. it just appears as if, from from the outside yeah. looking in, it appears as if it's more business oriented instead of nation, uh, yeah. Pan African building oriented. So you know? what I'm explaining to you, in order for us to do the Pan African nation building, you talk about you got to have something to do Pan African nation building with. You got to have bring something to the table. The people that I have, the people that I do things with in Ghana, Tanzania, and other countries, they have business, so it allows us to do Pan African stuff together. But do you really need a business to do pan Africanism? Yes, because example, like you hear, like you join the average black organization, and all if you just sit around, all you talk about is black organization, you'll get nowhere. But when people start talking about business, because trust me, I was part of some of these organizations. Next thing you know, I'm in Africa taking people to Africa, people living, people setting up, people doing business. Big difference from the staying, ah, sitting and talking. So we're more on a practical stage, but at the same time, too, we, as you can hear, uh, we talk. Building a global black business pipeline. It's a simple thing. You know what I mean? So if we have more people in, in doing business across the black world, it's it's a simpler thing for us to connect and do things together. So we're encouraging people, especially people like yourself who live in your mama's basement, to go learn a trade. Come on, now, come on, come on. And build a, and build a career. Well, why, why, do um, it's, it's why do you have to go there? Why do you have to go there with the personal insults? But, uh, but, but that's what people do. They stay in their mama's basement. They get on these YouTube. Well, that, yeah, but that's not what I do. They that's criticize I, people who are in the game. Well, I'm, not, I'm not criticizing. We're having they never, they never we're talk having about what we're having to do in the game. Listen, we're see, having yes, a discussion. That's a narrative. That's a narrative that people are selling. 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 No, no, we're, 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 no, 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 I've answered I am, your question. I, 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 am, I question. am stupid. I I'm, am stupid. I've answered your question. To try to tell me what makes you intelligent and what are you doing to progress black people and what's so smart about yourself and what you're doing because you seem to have no knowledge of what we're really doing. So you really don't right. need to be on the panel. Right. That's, what, that's your question. This panel is not for simple-minded people who don't have the level of Okay, well, you, should, uh, you two should dismiss yourself from the panel then. Go ahead. No, I mean, you seem like you like to sit around to get, to, you know, to get, you know, for us to keep on just educating you. No, 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 no. Explaining that's, yourself. That's, Maybe that could be the case. That's not what I'm saying. It, there's more people that are not technical than there are. And if a well, person... We keep on talking about all these people. We're not here to save a whole generation, a whole 90% of people. Most of the people do not get what we're talking about. Literally about only 1% of the people get what we're talking about. And that's literally but once, what you need. But one, but literally what you need to build a repatriation movement. So you're arguing up the wrong situation. Okay, so it's repatriation. That's not, that's so not our priority. Our priority is not to convince everybody. Our priority is not to do all this other stuff that you so talk about. So it's repatriation. So you're saying no it's repatriation. Oh, repatriation doesn't work based on what you think or want it to work on. No, 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 no. I'm not against it. I'm not against it. I'm saying is that what it is. We're telling you only about what we're doing. So I don't understand why people keep on coming on you. No, they're not. They're not. We're saying they're this not. is what we're doing. This is what we're about. 
and we're not about all those other things. I'm not. Even guys, we, we're, it's just, like, just, like, it's it, just like I don't, I don't, I, I've never done any kind of video on YouTube talking about what current event is going on, whether it's Joe Biden or Britney Grind or anything. You were patriating, but you were patriating. You stick to one subject. You're still saying it's repatriation. I still, I stick to one subject. Repatriation, which is a process of getting things set up. Okay, that, now, now that I heard I've you helped, say that. I've, I've helped people move from here, from, from America to Africa. Now that I've heard you say that, I understand what you're saying. I never heard you say that, no matter how many times I've been on your show. And I listen. You say what? Repatriation. It's about repatriation. That's what you just said today. I mean, I mean, is too, is a business of repatriation. Looking at our, our tour business, it's always saying repatriation. And okay, business. okay. Now, now, listen, oh. listen. Now, okay. Now, there's people that if I come across them and they talk about repatriating, now I can direct them to your site. I ain't trying to do nothing like you have to help me. I'm saying now that you said that, I will show you that my name will come up and I guarantee you I will have people that really want to understand repatriation with you. You didn't say that before. That's all I'm saying. All right, yes, that's but I, but I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. You need people that's serious. And it's not a problem. But you, all I want you to do is if a person, like I said, if this person, like now I see what you're saying, I won't bother you with the same thing anymore. I know it's about repatriation, so I'll study that before I ask you any questions or before I bring somebody again. Now that you've said that, it's not a problem. But that's the thing. When somebody is listening to you and you all are talking, they didn't hear that. That's what they're going to be questioning. They need to know the plan. Repatriation is not the same thing as something else. So now that's a, a foundation for if I ever talk about this site, well, you talking about repatriation, you need to go and see them. But Mamani and Kala, they're about that. They've been doing that. So that's what you all should make sure you put that word out, repatriation. Make sure you always keep talking about that so people are clear. That's what it's about. So they don't waste no time playing with nothing else. I don't have no problem with it. I think it's good that you said it. And it's the first day that you said it. And, and that's why I'm thankful you said it. And it's people like us that keep banging out and we got it. And now I hear it. <laughs> that's a good thing. And I have a clearer understanding. See? Mm-hmm. Well, the bottom line is uh, we're talking about building. And the bottom line, you can't build no movement, no paint. HC, have you ever talked to Million Man March or have you ever been with the leader in the nation? Uh, me? Yeah. Uh, Million Man March? Or anything with, with Farrakhan. No. Uh, no, would, no, I, I've been dealing with some Nation of Islam leader uh, ministers I, 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 when they were ministers. Thinks he's a, he, thinks he's, he thinks he's a Native American. Well, well not think. I mean, that's no, he, what sound, he sounds like somebody that I, I, I heard. You sound like somebody, but I'm, I can't remember the name. Yeah, I might be. If if you're talking about uh, master teachers, scholars, Nation of Islam guys getting taken out, yeah, that sounds like me because they got taken out. Okay. <laughs> And, uh, but no, yeah. but, but, but but this dude was t talking about he's same sex. Oh, that ain't me. Either. Okay, that ain't you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but you you sound like that dude. I don't remember his name, but it's a black male. He was like he was at one of the marches, and he, he let him speak one of the marches. Oh no, no, that ain't me. I, yeah, I don't believe uh, in marching uh, because to me that's just a waste of time uh, uh, event. Just uh, I might say he was in the million man, the million Indian march. Have you been over there, Big Chief? You know, who Big Chief is uh, Top Cats, yeah, Top Cats, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who you with. Well, no, nah, I'm not with, but you know, I have seen the man, I've spoken okay. to the man. Okay, okay, okay. So, so what tribe are you from? What tribe are you from? Well, uh, no, no offense, but I, I, I still have uh, more questioning. Uh, for clarification on uh, repatriation. No, no, no. Okay, what tribe? No, no, what no. tribe? What tribe you from no. over here? If you Indian? Yeah, but I'm, what I'm saying is, I don't want to divert the conversation away from the main topic because okay. that's what B Bomani okay. said he wanted to uh, uh, stay on. Okay. So I, okay. I try to respect people when I come on their channels. So, uh, All right. yeah. So, Mister uh, Bomani, the repatriation uh, situation. What? How, how long of a process do you think that is going to take? 
And what, what kind of numbers do you think you're looking at? And, and have you uh, uh, done any repatriation in Jamaica or the Caribbean? A uh, repatriation, a uh, repatri <coughs> repatriation question. I mean, because you're, you're talking about repatriation. We, we just had some questions for you. You didn't want to answer. You just want to stick it back on repatriation. Well, I'm, I'm, st I'm sticking with the title of the show because it's not about the title me. The show is not repatriation. Yeah, but the it's about, put the uh, title back up, please. What is that? And, uh, and you know, it says, for, when it comes to going to Africa to build excellence or fail being on organized. Exactly. That, so we're telling our people that uh, if they want to succeed in Africa, they can join some of our black communities and our black operations and our networks that we have set up for them to succeed with our people from here that we have built relationship and help set up there in Africa. Right. And you've mentioned and repatriation who, as a part of that process. Who, yeah, the whole thing is repatriation. And the people who are going to Africa and is moving just to move and things like that and don't have things planned out, they run into a whole lot of situations where I have people, personal friends of mine who will come back homeless and come back and don't have much going on for themselves because their savings that they had didn't last too long. And they didn't, they didn't have monthly income coming in. They weren't able to get a business and things that are going. And the key thing, they weren't, you know, and they weren't even able to get business going. So that's why it's so important about business that we talk about, because it's the key foundation of how you're going to build your success and how you can negotiate and work with other people. Okay, yeah, that's fine. But the other part of my question. One thing, but then there's many other things dealing with repatriation inside and outside of that. And that's what we call pan-Africanism towards nationhood. I said, that's fine. I support that. Now, as long as it's happening. And, and the other part of my question was, have you repatriated anybody from Jamaica or the Caribbean? Uh, yes, I have. I have people living in Africa that I brought there from 2007 all the way up to last year. Okay. How many people would you say? I'm not here to give a bunch of numbers. I've taken over 500 people. <laughs> and uh, we, you know, we have people living in the country. I'm not here to give all these numbers. Just like it, It's just like, there's only so many things I can answer and I'm going to give. Because what people come on here and do, they come on here. It's kind of like you just, you know, me and Kala, is in the, we're in the game. We're out here moving around, making things happen. And then okay. you guys are all the way up in the stands. And then you also just come down to the front line and just ask us a bunch of questions. You know, well, I, mean, I mean, that is kind of the purpose so, of having so people on. Like, well, I want intelligent people on this panel that shows me what they're doing, especially we don't have time for people. We're Do you know why America is so great? Do you know why America? You know why America is so great, and why the crown is so great? They let the worst of the worst people out of jail and let them go build an experience for themselves. And they didn't care if they were technical. They didn't care if they were technical. All they cared about is they had the heart to go say, "I'm for this crown. I'm for. I'm for America." And that's why America stands the way it does. And when you all open your heart to even let people just because they're speaking, you do not know. What what could happen if all the people that are not technical the, today that decide to do something are not very we, educated? They're pissed off at the topic that we have, so they come here with the FBA. No, 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 no. And it doesn't matter if it's FBA or ADOC. But that doesn't in, matter. It doesn't matter because in the day, all the people with FBA, if all the, all the, all the, all the people, with FBA, if all the, like, I, like I said to you, we're not doing the same shows that these regular, these regular people doing. We don't, really? have time to, we don't have time to waste with idiots and trolls. Like, I'm not here to sit here and sit here and spoon feed you. Go read a damn history, but go study okay. something. Go so if, if everybody, if everybody, I'm, if I'm everybody at FBA agreed to work with one country, if they agreed to work with one country and work over here to help one country, that would move beyond what you're doing. If everybody in FBA decided we'll just work with an African nation, regardless if we believe in Tether or not, we're going to change our heart today. We're going to help Africans. We're going to unite with our and brothers that nice. in Africa. So That'll go past everything that. you're doing. So you and other people need to do that. The thing if I'm telling people is like, <sighs> it's like Brother Kala, at one point- But it's not a competition. It's we're trying to learn what you're doing. Right. So well, no, 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 people. You don't need to learn what I'm doing. You need to go do what you need to do. It's in your heart to better what you need to do. It is. That's why we're on this show, because it's in our heart. A lot, a lot of we're here because don't. it's in our heart. We're here because it's in our heart. That's why you have you, me, Kala, and HC. It's right. in our heart. Right. And when we ask you guys, Kala, we're, looking, we're looking for guidance from you guys. Am I guys, missing something? I'm you guys should you explain got, to us instead of trying to berate us. If you want to eject, you can eject. Because I don't know where we're going with this conversation with these people. Okay, well, we're, I mean, with you. we're with you and you think we're not. We're with you and you think we're not. Somebody said, welcome well, back. This, not this is what I'm saying. <laughs> if I can get a word in edgewise. If I can get a word in edgewise, you know. Go ahead, Carla. 
this is what I'm saying, right? The whole thing is this, right? I've been at this for years, right? But mine's been at this for years, right? Wow. And him on the same page, right? And we tell him wasting our time with stupid, right? And people. the bottom line is this. Yeah, no uh, we've heard it. Oh, we've heard it all. Matter of fact, even more so than meeting Bobani, I've now heard now every sort of scenario. Oh, Kala, I'm gonna do this on the continent. People go to the continent. They absolutely show me after years of me vouching for them. They don't do anything, right? So basically, what I said was, all after dealing with all the people I've been dealing with, right? And I got a lot of people in the BAO. I said I want to concentrate on a few people, right? And that's why after I got back from Liberia, I said, I got to reach out to Brother Bomani, right? Because I saw after being on the ground how serious uh, this thing is, right? And I said, uh, uh, Bomani's doing this stuff. He got a track record. I like the way he does business and everything. And so I said, I'm going to basically uh, uh, get behind Brother Bomani at all costs. Because I know he does, he's not a YouTuber. Bomani's not a YouTuber. You know? And he doesn't do all the stuff like that. That's me. I, I do the YouTube. I'm not my YouTube, but I do a lot of radio, blogging. And I'm an internet personality and everything like that. So I said, like, let's join forces. And so, therefore, with him and I coming together and everything, you know, I want to put a new face on this pan-African movement, right? Because I didn't see it out there. We're about uh, the, the idea of in the future, right? And I learned this when I went overseas, right? These people on the African continent do not want to hear all your stupid uh, uh, nonsense. They want to hear what do you have as far as a plan? What do you bring to the table? If we're saying Pan African is about the black race, right? Why shouldn't they? Why should they turn on the Lebanese? Why should they turn on the Germans? Why should they turn on the Europeans when these people are bringing investments and they put, they're doing business and everything, and we're not doing that? We're going to Africa and failing. So I'm saying to myself, uh, let me get with somebody that basically has some success on the African continent, and, and let's 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 be that uh, thing where we basically showcase the best of who we are as far as like presenting ourselves as far as the African continent. Right now, uh, we have people going over there and just think because they got a passport, they're going on the continent. I wish them all luck. But that's not pan-Africanism. We have to So you want to tempt the Africans with money and goods first. No, no that's not then... what I said. Yo, get, yo, yo, mute this. No, nigga. I'm just trying to figure out how, yo, how, how come it doesn't work with people. Mute this, mute this Negro. I'll mute myself. You know? you know, mute this Negro. The bottom line is this: I'm, what we're saying. I'm trying is to find, the, find out what was he confused about because I'm telling you, he has like a low IQ. No, he I mean, knows he, what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. What he's doing. This is what he's doing. He's doing the old trick of he thinks with these old time Pan Africans that's emotional, you know that oh yeah it's all about the brotherhood like he said brotherhood and but that's not what we're about right that's not what our, our thing is the whole thing is that you can be a brother all you want but if we don't have anything established solid and I think and like I said earlier. I said the Chinese, they basically, when you go to the Chinese community, they have hierarchy. They have business relationships and everything that go back centuries. You know, they, they do business with each other. You know, they basically expect the highest of their people and everything. When the Japanese, why do you say, why Japanese people love doing business with other Japanese? Because they know they're going to get the best service and everything because it's built into that culture about timeliness, cleanliness, and all stuff like this, right? We have not built that culture of trust. And so, therefore, when we talk about building supply, that's it right there. Everything we talk about with Bill uh Imagine if the fact that uh, uh, we we're so good in America. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I mean you just said culture of trust. That's that's what I'm getting at. How come you don't build the culture up first as opposed to the business? Because as long as you got the brotherhood uh, the, and the culture line, of trust up first, then you can get the business what, going. Does he understand what? Hold on, does he understand what socialization is all about? Why we have I don't know. I don't think he understands much of anything. I don't think he understands that. That's where the trust comes in. You have to know each other. Like me and you and me are never going to know each other. We're never going to do business together. You know, absolutely what, whatsoever. Well, matter of fact, know? I'm sorry. Aside from the computer uh, uh, business, no, I'm, I'm never going. But I'm not, somebody like you, nope. I'm never. I mean, what, what other what other kind of uh, businesses that you? you. What, what other kind of businesses you know that you have? You have nothing. I want. You have nothing to do. Right, right. No, I got you. But if I want to create a troll, a troll, a troll website. I, I'd hire you, you know? <laughs> but uh, what, what kind of uh, businesses do you guys have in Africa, aside from the computer uh, consultation business? I didn't say that we had that business in Africa. I said I'm moving this operation over there to Africa. What we have is a real estate development office. We help people acquire land, build homes, and also we create opportunities for people there locally in the community. We do we do public relations also, so we have... And two two people there. We have a manager. He's an American, and we have a secretary. She's an American. They both retired. One is a retired educator, and one is a retired technician. 
Okay, no, um, that's tied in with the uh, repatriation uh, situation, right? Well, it's a connection. It's like if you're doing business here, you're coming in, and you, we talk about land, and you want to go there and see your land, we have another office there. You can come to me, come here and talk to me about many things. The only thing I can't show you is the physical land, so they can physically take you there, walk you on the land, and things like that. So what that's called, that's called, that's called the international organization to the highest level. You're running business from America, and you're running business in Africa. You got crews, you got staff, you got people. And we have tour connections in different countries. It's something and, nice. And I'm building the same build. thing in Liberia. And then we're working together on Liberia. And then another country that uh, Kyle has connected me to, to where we can do some more things is Angola. So me and him are working together specifically to work on Liberia and Angola. And then I'm working with other people for Tanzania, South Africa, Senegal, okay. and Gambia. So I spend my and entire no, day. You say or I spend do, my entire day it. dealing with black people whether they're in Africa or in America, and, then, and we're doing business, and it's a whole lot of work. So when I'm on here, you know, and, you know, and Kyle, a lot of times, Kyle, like, Bo Mane, I got to get you on a live. And I'm usually telling Kyle, I got work here to do. I don't have time to be playing with these people online. So yeah. I'm not saying he forced me to come on here, but I realized that we have, me and him have to talk more to people about Pan-Africanism and nationhood because too many people are talking about non-productive things and literally just are confused about nationhood and or pan right. well some i mean you have to understand we're some giving, people might, we're giving, might be confused you know? we're giving a practical example of what we're doing and what's considered pan-africanism we even explain it to people that pan that our ancestors from america and africa worked together to create what pan-africanism and what that the, and the result of that was you have modern countries called ghana instead of the their you know their small nations that they were not saying that they'll progress a whole lot more but that's what Pan-Africanism does. It brought the energy of us together. So we're showing this in our modern day energy that we're building this pipeline and we're here doing this and we're making moves. So every time we're talking about what we're doing, I'm like we're making, we're, we're people questioning what we're doing. And then we, we, we do, what we don't have is people telling, telling us what they're doing. To improve That's the ready energy. made. It seems oh, like you all want, it seems like you want things ready made already. It's not a problem. It's just, you, you, you gotta be able to just hear people and you don't know where a person's mind is. And when they, like I say, there'll be people that want to understand you that don't know you here. And as long as you all just we allow people really to talk, about somebody, we don't really you'll care get about that. that. The, people, the people that we need, we're already connected with. We're not looking for everybody. Okay, well, then, if that's the case, then you should all, all be uh, moved to Africa. Then so we got okay, everybody we'll that you need. Right <laughs> they don't have it like that. It's not, yeah, it's not, they ain't ready for that. They're not ready for that. That's talk. <laughs> Yeah, that's hey Alquan, how about you? How about you give me the money we need to build to build up our entire community and I'll move to Africa? I promise you. How much is it? I need, how five, much is mil it? I need five million dollars. Well, let me okay. ask you this. Now, now look, 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 look. Okay. Now, now you need five million dollars. Give me five million dollars, I'll leave within six months. <laughs> no, that's a long time. You, 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 you moved you move to the United hey, States. What you gonna be doing for six months? I gotta pack up my entire office, and I have things I have to close out. Yeah, for five million, you can buy a whole new office in Africa. And shit. <laughs> well, there's important stuff here. That's here. A hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars in Africa. What do you mean? Like, so you have to know what you need, brother. When you're ready to write that five million dollar check, then come really talk to me about these things. Uh, beyond that, big black, holla at us, brother. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm just enjoying the conversation. Uh, seems that Tabola and um, Alquan, you know, they want to. Walk before they can crawl, you know. Um, um, they, from what I was hearing from Kala and Bomani, they were talking about networking and doing it strategically. So I heard that. So when they get on the continent, you know, and, and uh, when they finally move there, it, 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 you know, the foundation is strong. We heard that. We said we agree with that. We were just saying once they told us, now we know what they're standing on. If we hear somebody is able to help them, now we could tell that person, you didn't hear us. We are agreeing with them. We understand what they're saying. You, I, I, it was kind of like you was going in, and I was kind. It was, you know, because I, I, are you an Indian? I'm with, I'm with what you're saying. I, we need to be able to crawl before we walk. That's where I'm at. I said I'm crawling. I told him I'm crawling. Okay. So since I'm crawling, if I see somebody walking, what do I tell them? That's what I'm on. Right, and and, and do you keep crawling for ten years? By by year ten, you should be uh, running. 
Not, not right. uh, walking. No, I mean, not not necessarily. I mean, you, you have to look at things, you know, for what what they are. I mean, look look at the FBA movement right now. It's it's, it's fractured now, you know, because wow. first of all, I mean, all, I, I, I don't know what, 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 does FBA, all, what does FBA have to do with this. You no, know, what I'm saying is, I'm hearing you all saying that. Well, we just need more. You need more. Keep keep getting more people. You know, want everybody. It sounds like they don't want everyone to join because they don't want people that have a slave mind mentality. To come over there and muddy up the waters, you know that's what you had. That's what you had in the Indian movement. Uh, of course, all of them had slave mentalities in the Indian movement. Uh, but that's sorry, they, uh, if you could please stay on topic because when you this, this yeah, you know, I, mean, I have to use this to you make talking a about the Indian. I'm using this to make a correlation. You had that in the FBA movement right now. They're fractured, you know. Uh, secure, they're, they're uh, warring with security tribe. And security tribe used to claim FBA. They're not claiming FBA anymore, and then there yes, was they are. They just secured the tribe. They are. They were first. But no, they they're saying they're not FBA. They're saying they're not FBA no more. So now this whole lineage based movement, they basically turned it into a group. So it already it's already fractured. And as long as it's happening, know, as long as black people are believing in making groups, they're building. It'll come yeah, together when yeah, it's supposed. Yeah, yeah, well, what, what I'm saying is this though. If uh -huh. you believe in the Native American, that security tribe, you're Native American, and you believe this white man's going to give you reparations, I say like this, go fuck to you, but why are these people on my on, on our platforms, you know, talking to us? We're, but we're, this is a black I, I don't man. know, man. I think they, just, you know, I think they love us, man. Them, I don't want to hear it. Well, I mean, we're trying to gain clarity we and understanding. Care, we don't care about you understanding. But you know well, you should. You Hang should. Now, because I mean, I, because I, when, we understand, I when we understand, then when we understand, then you won't get frustrated choice, when we come you know? on. Alcon, are you are you a black are you are you a black are you black African person or you live in America? Indian. You live in America. This channel, this channel, it's a black African nationalist show. If you live in America, I don't want to hear what you got to say. It's not about Native America. It's not the Native American. I don't care about African nationalists living in America. I was born here. My lineage is over here first. I was born here too. If you consider yourself a Native American or Indian. Yeah, we have I'm not. I'm not claiming Native American. I'm a black man right. that's African that was Al born here. I'm talking about I'm... Al Kuhn. Al Kuhn, oh, okay. if you consider uh, okay. Indian, he shouldn't be on this platform because well, we don't well, care sir. to, we don't well, care to black people. Black people in America and black people in the African diaspora. But so sir, if you consider but... yourself an Indian. I mean, I don't know if well, you're well, be I, I never, I like. never established any identity on this particular show. And again, I like to stick with the topic. And uh, you know, <laughs> you're, I, not, uh, you're being disingenuous. I heard you on many of your shows claiming that. You no, know, but I'm saying on this show, on this show, on this show, we know you, 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 you're talking corn, to popcorn and all type of things that uh, end with corn. On this show, I, I I like to stick to the topic when I go on other people's channels. You know what I mean? So we well, we don't want, we don't want to divert the topic. We want to stick stay on topic because I can walk away enlightened. Maybe I can see the light from the information that you guys provide. It, it just seems like you're nitpicking, brother. You, brother you're lost, brother. Learned. You'll never get it. You're lost. And that's why I'm here to be found. You're lost, soul man. We can't save everybody. What's right? going on? What's going on? Kala, what, what have happened since we've been? Why we don't try to save everybody? Hey, uh, hey, Bamani, I got to gotta go out and come back in because I'm breaking up. Rock, I got to go back. Rock on and post on the link, brother. Rock on and jump on in and let me just it, let our okay, new guest in. I got to go out and come back in. Hold up. Hold, hold up. No, you can stay out. Uh, hold up. Uh, you gotta, <laughs> uh, we just got somebody that joined. Uh, uh, let me, I hope I don't mess the name up. Uh, Cahoon Hunter. What's going on? What's going on? What's all this I'm hearing about? We got to go to Africa and build up Africa. Isn't that a pipe dream? Yes, it's a pipe to Cohen. Uh, please introduce yourself. Please. I, I, I don't mind you uh, coming on and um, sh uh, sharing your differences, but we just need you to introduce yourselves. And... So why are you hating on the indigenous paradigm? This channel and show is for black people in the African diaspora and black people in the African country. But you're not black. You don't want nobody you're a Caribbean. I'm a... Why do you have to preach this towards black... American Negro? Uh, he's right, blessed, first, yeah, that's a good all, question. I, first of all, I, you're not going to come on here and just be asking a bunch of questions like you're somebody. You need to introduce yourself and be respectful. If you can't do that, we're going to let you off. At least Al Kwan did that. I'm Coon Hunter. And I asked you a question, sir. You don't have to be disrespectful. I've been respectful this entire time. Oh, perfect. I was just asking, why do we, why and how is it beneficial to Black Americans? 
how is black nationalism and immigrating to Africa, making yourself a foreign national, help, helping black America at this time and date? All right, brother, that's a, that's a the reason question. why I got into this business is because of black consciousness energy. I joined black organization, I did black study group. And what I did when in those research, I realized that you know, some of our people, a very small percentage, maybe 1%, are interested in actually living, actually traveling, living, and doing business. In well, look like this, we're saying that, that your know, ideology was created by our Hey, you're, 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 brother, you have to let me, you have to let me finish nice talking. Try. But you're cool when I, you basically say I'm a black American. Everybody say like, I'm a black American and everything. Yes, like, you're, 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 you're Kyle, American I'm, I'm answering black, this question. Right? I just want him to chill and let me answer this question so we can talk. You asked me why is it so important? Like I mentioned one percent of the American people. painted black. You know, so I got America with black paint on my face, so I'm a black American. So the, the white American is racist and rabid and. <laughs> So I'm a black black version of the white man. That's all. When you say I'm a black American, you're saying you're American, you know, with painted black. Do you know American is applied to the indigenous people of the land, right? Uh, First of all, first of all, you need to identify yourself. Who are you? Are you a a Native American? I'm from Ireland. I told you I'm I'm cool. Or what? What are you? What do you consider okay, yourself? You like I consider myself. What country in Africa are you? Like I, could, like I consider myself a black uh, so African. Are country. you from Nigeria? Are you from Ghana? Are you from Angola? Are you claim, from Congo? Claim, no, we, oh, are you from South whole, Africa? Are you from we, Egypt? We claim, we claim, are you from Morocco? Mauritania? Hold on, hopefully I can't speak at the same time. You from the entire. Stop meeting yourself so I can your brother the brother can respond because so the bottom line we claim the whole time. continent and like I, I said I just that. don't understand like I said we set this up to have a, a we thought we have uh, intelligent people calling in and we get the same old coons and same old and actually you got super intelligent people tonight you, you know got, got I call you a coon I'm spending my night Saturday nights talking to a bunch of coons you know a bunch of friggin' Oh, put that brother back on I want to hear some yeah. more of that knowledge no man it's you're not, gonna be it's... gone too you know because we're tired of you coons, man you got nothing to say. Nothing to bring to the conversation. Get the hell I out of listen here. to you all more than you think. Sometimes I listen and I don't tell you I'm listening. You know I don't take so this show. I don't take this show for light. I listen to you when you're on Dynasty Mirror. I listen to you on you on different platforms. I've seen you on Dynasty Mirror and I don't even comment. It's people have been born in something and they're looking. And we're not, I'm not looking to disturb anything. I just want to know the platform, what y'all doing. It's about repatriation. But Monty said it. I don't have nothing else to contend with you on. I know what you're about. I know what you're about. about. That's all. You, 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 you're well, saying you we're cool, but I know People now that you said like repatriation, I ain't, I ain't disagreeing with nothing. I'm on repatriation. Well, I'm just you're listening. triggered by the word repatriation, right? We're talking because about Bomani, Bomani laid out what he was talking about, and that's what I'm right, on. Right. Now I see it. I'm not worried. Repatri- hold on. Repatriation is one part of what we're talking about. That's, that's the right. Goal. You know, us to be able to. Okay. okay. Did you hear the man? He said he supports that. Yeah, I'm not against hold, hold, hold. that. Bottom line is, so why are you going to go on about it? You know, that's not all but my. No, because he's saying that that, that made it clear. He made that clear. I just came clear. back on the like, oh, tell yeah, you. But sit here for two hours. What you what you're basically trying to do is you make it seem like Bomani's on here to convince people to go to Africa. He's they basically no, 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 It was it was less than a half hour ago that Bomani said repatriation. And I've been listening. Yeah, I never, program. I never heard him say that on none of other, his other shows. I never heard that on none of the well, other shows. It's, well, if you know Bomani, that's what he's all about. He's like, okay, now I learned. So, so I learned. So I learned today, and I'm not going. That on building Africa, we could do it for those who are qualified. Those okay, I, I agree. I heard that. I have I have not interrupted. I just came back on to speak. I didn't interrupt for how long? I was just listening and going with it. I didn't say I was against nothing. But when you said coon, that's why I came back on. I've been listening. Don't I think say you that. Should that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Just, now that's that a lot of these saying before I was rude. Hold on, let me, I was just I was just speaking. It just seems to me that a lot of the, the guys that come on as Indians, they want us to stay third class citizens in America forever. Wait a minute, how is Indianness a third class citizen? I mean, you're not a second class citizen. A fucking so called African American is a fifth class citizen. You making your 
broke down the total. Okay, well, that's what I, uh, okay, exactly. So you prove my point. You you want us to stay third class citizens, second third I was class. A third class citizen, no. Big black, uh, uh, you've black. never tried. You've never tried claiming your genealogical roots to America. Let, let, let's 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 countries in Africa let's 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 Okay, we're you're a weirdo. We're standing you're in righteousness. Weirdo. We're not pushing no, you're, you're black supremacist rhetoric. You are, you are, you are a weirdo. You know how am I a weirdo? You're I'm weird. just speaking weirdo. facts. Hey, Kala, you're just speaking facts. Let's, nothing. Let's, you pull your facts out. Maybe these are nothing. facts. Kala, I, I doubt that you did your own genealogy. That's why you're trying to push black Americans into making themselves foreign national in base of species to another uh, bottom woman. Line, uh, bottom, uh, bottom line but Kala, 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 how far did you dig de deep into your own genealogy? Well, I already did my genealogy, bro. And where does it trace you in Africa? Yeah. Why is that so important to you? I want to know why is that so important. No, I want to know. I want to know why must you push? Why must you push Africa upon? American Negroes, when you yourself can't even pinpoint an African tribe, you just globe trotting random countries. I'm listening to listen until you got to hey, listen. What the heck? You can't talk at the same time. I want to make money here and build here and whatnot. My goal is to have an independent communities in Africa that we control from the top to bottom, where we can do business with whoever we want to. We don't have to basically, if, if uh, colonialism, States, so if, 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 I got a question. If the United States, United States so, meets Russia, we could be like, listen, hey, Putin, welcome guys, come down to our Kwanzaa festival next year. You know, we'll give you like, you guys got to let go. Hold on, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. One second. Iran, we could Let's do like that. You know, we're listen, not holding, you guys, we're not beholden to anything in the United States. We want, we want to uh, sever ties eventually with the United States. How about that? Well, apparently okay, not, that's not good soon for enough. You, but well, I got a question. Since you say that you want to build business, how come you can't do that right here? And also, I right gotta, you know it's there's trials right and tribulations that will prevent you right from you even about? doing economic business within Africa. You do realize that that stuff, you do realize, hold on, wait a minute. Can you stop interrupting me, please? Uh, hold on, I listen to everybody. You do Look, realize that. All right, uh, we're not, we're not going to do this, okay? We're not going to do this tonight, okay? This idiot, or whoever it's stupid ass, you want to come on, I'm just going to remove it. It's like I do not have a problem with people disagreeing with me or sharing their different stance. I literally do not care. Now, what I want to do is to where you speak your mind and respectfully listen to our response and things like that. And if you're going to. Why? I can't hear you. You're muted. I, no, I'm not muted. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, bring that brother back yeah. on. My, my man was kicking some uh, knowledge. The thing of it is, is not a, the thing of it is, we, if we're gonna talk, we can't have four people talking at the same time. Okay, let me um, let me see if you can get there. You go, Colin. You want me to? We can't have four people speaking at the same time too. So I got it. So if funny part is only those two. Keep on, funny part. If you keep on, if you keep on doing that, we just have to drop him because we're not getting anywhere. You can't just at the same time too. So I got it. So funny part is only those. Hey, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Um, I can. Let me see. Yeah, I, can uh, I can hear you. Got I can't hear you, Bamani. Hey, Bamani, I'm going to switch devices. Okay, go ahead, brother. Let's uh, come back on. Yeah, the That's thing of it is, uh, the thing of his Alquan, um, I don't mind hearing the brother out, but what he has to do is that he has to just like be cool and and like speak, and then when he's finished, he just got to let Kala, Kala respond. I mean, we don't mind answering his questions, and then some questions we're just not going to answer. You, you know, Kayla can be very long-winded. You know that. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm gonna let the brother back in so he can speak right. his mind, and then our brother would just add on. So go ahead. Now, what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted and kicked off, I said that in reality, in the real world, that back to Africa stuff is not practical because for one, you literally had CNN. They showed you the FBI raided a Pan African group that nobody ever heard of called the Uhuru Socialist uh, Party. And 
None of those individuals were speaking for black Americans. They were helping and sold out to the Russian globalists to send black Americans tangibles to random African countries. And guess what those African countries have in store for you? Because they're not on pan-Africanism, they're on pan-globalism. They're sellouts to the highest bidder. So what does that got to do with the BIO? What does that got to do with the BIO? What does that got to do with the BIO? What does that got to do with Stop interrupting me because I'm not finished, Calo. You know what, what does that got to do with me? How, how is Pan African helping you? Oh, all you're doing is being a tourist. Stop on, arguing. Stop. 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 I hope you guys ain't bringing those uh, what blunts over guy, there. What does that have to do with us? Why am I getting kicked off but this guy is interrupting me? Is that fair? No, you wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's a host of the show. We're, 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 he's a host of the show. That's the situation. So be respectful. Is to that me. there? Is that some coward shit right here that I'm seeing? <laughs> hey, Yo, guys, like, like, mind, if you God came over mind. to Alquan's channel, we wouldn't mute you. We wouldn't kick well, you off. I would off. never go to Alquan's channel. I would speech? never go to Alquan's channel. Well, you could. You're invited, man. I would never go in. I would never go on that fool's channel. Never. All right, all right, can I walk you down on Pan Africanism's history? Because we know Marcus Garvey himself was a coon. We know oh, that he was married to a white woman at one point in time. Marcus Garvey was never married to no white yeah, woman. Yeah, he was. Marcus was never Actually, no Amy okay. revealed okay. in her own memoirs that he was married to a Spanish Irish heiress. He's the in single London. greatest Pan Africanist that gave us an incredible. How was he if he sold out to the Klan? He sold out to the Klan. He was friends with Ernest Seven Cox. You know, one of the one of the, the simplest things is to have dialogue. Hey, with the enemy. Garvey had the heart to have a dialogue with his enemies. That is Why would you want to have a dialogue with your enemies anyway? Stokely Carmichael said, I was in the United States. I wouldn't Navy. choose evil at all. Between the greater the evils, I wouldn't choose evil at all. That's what Stokely Carmichael uh, said. So why brother. would Marcus Garvey side with the devil? That's stupid. Like, like, brother, if you're going to ask questions, you have to get time to get answered. Like I mentioned, it is a wise, tactical, strategic situation to communicate with your enemies and have dialogue. I was a, I was in the UN, United States Navy, and that's part of their tactics. They know Did what. You know, enemies Garvey was a Knight of Columbus, and he only wanted to be a Freemason. He really I mean, didn't push I mean, Pan Africanism, I mean, and it started did, amongst you, Black Americans, get, not Caribbean. Where did you get all this stuff from? Marcus Garvey left. Is up this is his only man story. His father was a Freemason. So what's your point, brother? All these things you're making. Up. As a child, so what? So his father what? put him yes, through no, a Masonic no, ritual no, by locking him into a uh, tomb. If, if all these lies you're telling is true, what is your point? It's not a lie. It's historically <laughs> <laughs> fact. <laughs> What is your point, brother? Well, what, what's, what's, what's the Freemason? So let me ask the question. Uh, Wait a minute. So let Alcorn speak his word. Can't put down that. Hey, Al Coon and uh, other Coon. What, what's the Freemason? <laughs> you not know what a Freemason is? Okay, have you no, ever, no, have no, you no, ever no, heard of Prince Hall Freemasonry? Okay, yeah, I, the, we, I know the Maybe you are, Kala. Maybe you are one of those agents. Maybe you are one of those agent provocateurs. Because this is where Pan Africanism gets its roots, is Freemasonry and Blay. So, yeah, so, and what? So, what? Uh oh, and so what? What do you mean, so what? what? So That's what? against you. Those are your enemies. Those are your about enemies. You, you always talk about, about white supremacy, but isn't Wyber Pike a Freemason? So, no, wait a minute, your, wait a minute. Isn't the Klan Freemason for you too? You can listen to the Klan Freemason. Both of you guys cannot talk at the same time. Go ahead. Or I asked the question what does a Freemason have to do with you? Do you know it is different than Freemasons? The Freemasons. You want to know who the Freemasons are? Which and why are you, talking you about? are sitting up here talking hold about them? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You, uh, you said you, hold you, hold you brought up. Uh, you brought up. Yeah, you know I got him. Yeah, he knows I got him. Check this out. Hold on, hold on. Do you, hold, on. Do you, hold on. Do you know what the Scottish Rite Freemason is? The, uh, the yes, Scottish Rite Freemason? That's completely different. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So why would you mention Garvey? And not mention the Scottish Rite. Garvey's not a Scottish Rite Garvey Freemason. He is a Knight of Columbus, you fool. That's another. He will not know Knight of Columbus. What not? Where, 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 you, have you heard this? You that he will not know Knight of Columbus. Shut up. He's wearing, that, 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 that uniform he's wearing. Oh, no. Yo, yo, so, yo, so that's a so, so, so let me ask you a question. 
Did Columbus wear uniforms like that? Did Columbus have a uniform like that? At that time, they didn't have those uniforms. Oh, so how can he? You said you just said you just said that Garvey had a uniform like Columbus, but Columbus didn't have the uniform he had himself. A uniform from the organization of the Knights. Oh of Columbus, Lord, man! Lord, Lord, Lord! Lord this is yo, come on, come on! This is our opposition. This is our opposition. I, yeah, y'all I, I can't all talk at the same time. Free, so, Freemasonry yeah. came from us. Everything come from us. They got it from I Egypt. It come from you. It came from Europeans. It came from Egypt. Egypt. They got they got taught no, that so they can live on the planet and do what they're doing. The travel, the travel, the travel. Yet yeah, the white man had to teach it to you. After we were subjugated, after Wait, you're subjugated, no, no, once you no, learn no, no, something, no, no, you're not stop, learning stop, from stop, him. Stop right there. Stop right He's there. our servant. He is our what, servant. He is our servant. He is doing that. He is doing that so he can understand the masonry. He's doing that so he can understand what he did not come up with. He didn't come up with. We're not getting from him. If I if I didn't know it when I was a boy, and he teach it to me, it didn't come from him it came from somebody that's like me it's not the problem that's not the problem the problem is was marcus messiah garvey using masonry whatever he learned to disrespect black people no but so it don't did. matter learning from a white man point blank he didn't learn it from white people it don't matter. He wasn't using the it against Africans them. Africans that you self-proclaimed. Was he using it against them? Did they have Freemasonry? Or did, how did you was use it? Was he using it against them? Was he using it against them? Was he using it against them? Actually, he was. Was he trying he, to he, use it against them? He was. He was. Using it against black people? He yes. Unbelievable, yes. man. Okay, I want to hear HC. Uh, uh, okay, because what he did, he was trying to get black Americans to get the hell out of here and move to Africa. That's that's using it against us. And not everybody is trying to get it. He's trying to get a small percentage of us. But how come, how, come he, how come he, like yourself, didn't just say, hey, I'm, a, I'm Jamaican. Why don't I get my people to move to Africa? <laughs> I've gotten some Jamaicans to move, okay? Okay, so you, so, you, so, so you I say. I Jamaica, but my movement is bigger than Jamaica. My movement is about... Well, no, no. It should be, you should see, people. you're Jamaican. It should start with your people first. Rock uh, that. You know, I, get, I get tired of... The reason why that didn't happen, happen because Jamaicans told his ass that they ain't from Africa. They said that they were indigenous Arawaks and Caribs. All right, perfect. Now that you said that, I appreciate you saying that. Some of our people feel that way, just like some of our people in America feel that way. So the Jamaican because that middle passage shit never. Hey, listen, Leah. It's like you, you, when somebody's trying to respond, you just cut them off with something else. I mean, try to have some c control because the emotional shit is not going to work over here. I, I can give a damn about all them people consider themselves native. Okay, what I could, what I'm, what I'm, what I represent is the stolen Black African people that were brought to Jamaica and the ones that were brought here in America. And that's who I'm uni unifying. You said you didn't like okay. emotional stuff. Did you L listen here? Because you, because I'm talking. You. But how come you're not worried about Latin America and the Caribbean? Why, why the America? Why America? Okay, like I mentioned to you, are you, are you, you and that other Intel, you guys are like some of the lowest IQ people I've ever had on here. I thought the the guy from Nigeria and the guy from Sierra Leone was like literally village idiots. You guys are worse village idiots. Well, that you can't be the case no because uh, intelligence at all. You guys have no intelligence of all. We're telling you what we're doing, and you're telling us what we should be doing. I'm not here to talk about the things that we're not doing. I'm here to connect with my Black African people in Jamaica, the Caribbean, in America, and any other parts of the Black world. And I'm here to connect with my people that we have on the African continent, that I've shown you all of these trips that we go into, all of these countries that you see going on the, the, that's, that's passing through on the bottom, as you see right there. So everybody, pay attention to those countries. Those countries we have business in. Am I supposed to say, you know, forget that and just sit and focus about Jamaica? <coughs> our movement, just like Marcus Garvey movement, is bigger than our beautiful island of Jamaica, which is incredible and a beautiful infrastructure. <laughs> unfortunately, we didn't, you know, unfortunately we were outdone by everyone else because but by the time we were organized and independent, you know, we, the whole, the, almost the whole island was just brought up by other investors. And that's another story to talk about because I'm not always here to, I'm not here to push anything about my own you know, own country, Jamaica. I'm here to talk about us together as a unit, a union, a pan-African union of people connecting to Africa. You know, so the people consider themselves, not no disrespect to anybody who consider themselves native. If that's what you want to be native and you want to be all about your native Jamaica or native America, that's fine. Do your thing. This channel is not for that. I'm not here to take time out of my work to communicate. I'm here to find other people who understand what we're talking about, the one percenters. And I'm not here to stress too much of myself. So, Big Black, uh, you haven't talked for a while. And then, uh, Brother uh, Tabula, go ahead and uh, share what you have to share. 
those other two, you know, I'll think about letting them back in if we have something that we need to get from them. I'm just listening. <laughs> I appreciate being able to be here. I got my cue. Appreciate it. Well, appreciate it, uh, Big Black. Uh, your own. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I, and I want you to speak without you being interrupted by these two two guys because they all they do is just unmute themselves and interrupt, interrupt, interrupt. They ask questions, then they don't let you finish, then they ask another question, and like we can right. answer all these questions. Yeah, I, a, I mainly came up there because of the guy, the Indians came in, and they, I'm like, you know, they they don't have any end game, you know, they're not gonna they're not gonna do nothing. They claim that this is their land. But they're not, they're, I mean, you know, America's their land, but they're not going to do nothing to, you know, if 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 you if, if this was their land, that means they're so-called colonized. So why, they're not talking about uncolonization because they really know this is, is not their land. It's just the self-hatred of, I don't want to be African. That's all it is. Nothing more, nothing less. Say that again. You got muted out. Say that again. Okay. So, yeah. Basically, they know this is not their land. If if this was their land, that means that they're colonized. They're not talking about uh, you know decolonizing <laughs> their land. It's all because they don't want to be African. You know, this, this whole thing is I don't want to be African, and, and I don't want our people. To Repeat that last part again. Okay. <laughs> no, no, this is the last part. They don't say. Uh, they, they, oh, the whole thing is what say, say that like seven times. <laughs> <laughs> no, we gotta drive the point home. Because they 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 not going they're not talking about decolonization. You know, no, just the, just the last part. They don't want they they don't want to be they don't want to be African. They don't want to. Well, say African. that. Say, can you repeat that a few times? They don't want to be African. That's that's all it is to it. They they they, and they, this they don't want is specifically for they people. don't want to be African. They want to be into their Africanness, their blackness, and things. If you're here talking about Indians, Native America, FDA, ADOS, this this ain't for you. I mean, this ain't this ain't the channel for you. The, t- the title's right there. The big 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 bowl at a pan Africanism towards nationhood. Where we're we gonna build that nation at? The African continent, you know. Yeah, and then Kala, explain to people what Afrikan is, and then we'll let these two guys in if they want to come back and announce. <coughs> okay, the idea. First, you know how Elkhorn because I support the ideas of Africa. If the I didn't say talk to that idiot whole well whole whole guys add points, but he's I don't know whatever you know. Anyway, the bottom line is that you got your the bottom line is the majority of Jews do they live in the state of Israel? No, no. Nope. You know, do the, the majority of Muslims live in Mecca? No. Nope. Okay, but they got a global. I see you see these commercials with these dirty ass. I'm not, I'm not let me say nothing about Islam, but I say. I still have an Arab one. You see these commercials come up with building a temple in Dearborn, Michigan, white guys on that, except Islam. These guys are making a push, man. Islam is on the rebound again. So I'm saying like this, if these guys could take a dirty religion like Islam and bring millions of people under the fold to build this caliphate, we're going to build an Afrikstan, a nation state, and a, a, a holy land for our people descendants of the transatlantic slave trade. That's what an Afrikstan is. The people who are stolen Africans have a homeland, whether several of them or one. It's going to be territories and uh, geopolitical entities like the Vatican, so like any place else, like Israel, everything for the people. The Constitution, the land, everything is going to be based on the people who who, who never got justice from the transatlantic slave trade. We were betrayed by kings, we were betrayed by Europeans, we were betrayed by Arabs, we were betrayed by everybody. We want a place where we can fight, like Netanyahu said about Israel, where the Jews feel safe as a safe haven. Where, by the way, that's why when we build these communities in Ghana and every, every place else, we are going to make sure make sure our people are safe. We're going to make sure they have schools, they have clinics, they have all those things they need. Where we're not dependent on nobody, and there's, and, and there's a trade off because the local community will benefit from our presence there. But we're not going to go over there on some emotional pan African stuff and and lose everything. And then people look at us like, oh, look these fools coming here trying to find themselves. No, we're going to basically build in Africa and whatnot. If it means whatever it takes, is good. That's what's going to happen because. The bottom line is that this is coming because we cannot look at our communities right now dying in America. All these people who believe that they're American, I would like to understand what would you got to say about the Bloods and the Crips controlling South Central Los Angeles where they could just kill you because you didn't check in. The and it seems like the police don't even care. All these communities are run by, but they had to shut down O Block in Chicago because it's so violent and everything like that. They got to shut down housing projects in Brooklyn and everything. Oh, the whole section of black America is so outside. It's not even on the margins of America. It's on the, not in fringes. It's on the margins of American civilization. And you're going to talk about you're a black American? You show me. You show me the thriving black community. Every last single black community, even the successful black community, are under assault with crime and degradation and, and everything. 
and mediocrity and stuff like this. This is why we're saying that the soul of the black nation in the West has to be planned, transplanted to the continent. We can't all get to the promised land. Moses never got to the promised land, you know, but we will basically build those things. Why? Because when people say, where's, where's, where's black America at? Where's the soul at? It's going to be on African soil. All right, perfect. Uh, Carla, let me just let um, Brandon the Hut in and maybe the same person as uh, the other guy before, but let's hear what they have to say. Introduce yourself, please. Brandon the Hut. Now, why are you selling scams, bro? Liberia failed. Oh, Lord. There you go, Liberia. That's our great journey. We're going to build Liberia. And what and I want yeah, you to do... It, will, it failed the first time. Why are you right? trying again? Go ahead, because you have to have some control when we talk. Do you no, have any ahead. resources? Do you have the money? No, you don't. He talks. Oh, I, I didn't he know has, what we have. No. You don't have any tangibles, bro. What tangibles are you talking about? You working with UNESCO and the socialists. What are you talking <laughs> about, bro? Yeah, like I said, man. You know, every time we they have these cool got on, you on their FBI watch list. So how that's going? How who you going to take that off? Okay, who cares? Fuck the FBI. How you going to do it? You're a defeated no, slave fuck the from FBI. America. How you going to do it? Fuck you. Yeah, fuck the FBI. Tell fuck us, everybody. Tell us your us. first plan. How you going to do it? How? No, we got to tell you anything. If you go to our website, you, you, you go to our website. If people, if take us out, people, and take us out. If people go to our website, you tell them we're already doing. There's no first thing. We're already doing it. We're already doing this. Yeah, take us out. We're already doing it. You need to worry about. You need to take us out. You need to. You need to worry about how you go to your. How you gonna how you gonna get your Kyle, land back for the white man? How you gonna Africa, how you gonna how, how you gonna get get to Native, Native, Native America? Don't even want y'all black asses, you know? Like like he's like he's some kind of police that we supposed to just answer your questions. You he tell was, us what you uh, tell uh, us what you're building because, like I said, the criteria to have a conversation with two scholars that are doing things in Africa and connected and working on some future plans in in countries that people people dare to step into, like Liberia and Angola. What is your plans? What are you doing? We've been explaining what we've been doing for over two and a half hours. You explain, you and Al Kuhn and all those other people who don't believe what we do. Tell us what you're doing to make America, Black America great again or Indian American great again or whatever you call yourself. Oh, we're getting our legal paperwork done. Legal. <laughs> <laughs> and we're tracing our resources. Oh, we're tracing our, man. our Al Kuhn, ancestral Al Kuhn, lands, Al Kuhn. our tangible. Al Kuhn, well, Al Kuhn guys papers. Oh, um, <laughs> oh, explain <laughs> us what are you doing in Africa besides <laughs> being a terrorist? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. One at a time, like you said, why are you blurting over me? What have you done specifically in Africa? What have you done to be a tourist? Look at this flyer. I'm going to show you. I know Bahati has his papers. This is a tour operation. Let me show you our, our community <laughs> that we build, that we are build and building on. Oh, show okay. us your compound. There, there you go. Okay, there you go. All right, there you go. You can check out the website link and you can see the rest of the information. You can check out the YouTube uh, videos. You can check out the Facebook uh, photos and you can check them out. Out. We're showing people what we're doing on a consistent basis. Okay. So I'm not going to get into taking more a photo details. walk with Africans is not evidence of you having a I compound. Get, I get tired of I get tired of these coons that live in their mama's basement. I got all these different YouTube. <laughs> oh, well, somebody else lives in the basement too. Mean, ain't got no job. Ain't building nothing. Ain't got no. Um, I ain't work. got no house, nigga. Can't tell yeah, us I do. You graduated from college or anything. I mean, <laughs> no, you don't. Like, yeah, yeah I do. But see, the name when the name calling starts. This is name calling, bro. Collar, you never been to my house. You don't know where I live. I'm trying to get their paperwork. Can you believe these idiots call themselves all these things and don't even have legal paperwork? What's with the name calling though? Yeah, what is with the name calling when you have no evidence towards building in Africa but selling a pipe dream to build Black America? Okay, where are your tangible? Where's your farm? Where's your animals? He's gonna take his paperwork to Where's America. Where's your workers in Africa, bro? He's gonna say, please, can oh, I have that? Brother, I, Where's I, your I credentials with the United you, Nations I've or the my, African Embassy? I've showed you my business website. I've I've showed you my business website. All the things that we're doing, you have not showed me anything. So business is exploitation. That's exploitation, though. Good, goodbye. Don't if you come back in another name, I'm gonna remove you. See, you guys don't want to have the conversation. And you know we gotta we gotta I mean, have that's what you're doing. You, I mean, you guys are idiots. You talking about you still stuck See, on getting nah, your paper. Nah, we, Go back in your mama's basement and get yourself organized before you you have you have conversations with people who are about building stuff. I don't have time for for idiots and people who are low IQ. You guys, just, you guys, just they don't have the paperwork for the Indian land, man. <laughs> they don't have the paperwork. 
Al Coon's been around for a while, man. He still got his Indian paper yet, man. Yeah, they rejected that nigga. <laughs> he walked up and said, "Uh, uh-uh. uh, you ain't no Navajo. You know, get the hell out of here, nigga." You know what I mean? <laughs> you know. Yes, yeah, so Brandon. Uh, the same with the last thing. Hey, yo, I love how big black. I'll be cracking big yeah, black up, man. He be cracking yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, all we need is all we, all we need is navigate up here, man. Big black will be rolling. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I be having him cracking yeah. up. I like that. He was busting up laughing. I got my paperwork, and I'm gonna come up here and say, "Hey, hey yeah, Brandon, hey, and Hutch hey, trying hey, to get his paperwork together. He probably he probably <laughs> lives somewhere in some basement, trying to working with the people, trying to beg for reparations, brother. I'm sorry He's that you haven't got like, hey, American official. Oh, you're, you're a defeated Negro, that? right? Then yeah, why is he trying to speak for our own our reparations? By the way. Jamaica. Why ain't you in Africa? Why ain't you in Africa? You ain't get no nigga. I'll be the first one to be up there on Capitol Hill. I'll be the first one on Capitol Hill saying, don't give them niggas shit. You know? <laughs> who, who, what government in Nigeria going to give you reparations for selling? I don't want no reparations. Slavery. We're going to be, all we need is our land. That's all we need. Oh, we yeah, need to have land, land You got to Oh, bro, bro, bro it's coming, bro. We got, we got yeah, land offers all over the continent, bro. Just having you know, a photo op is not evidence. Hey, what's a photo op? Okay. You can check uh, all the videos and all the things that we're doing. We don't have. Time oh, to show us the receipts. Oh, show your, us the receipts. Get your game up. Show you. What, what are show you, us the now? receipts. You, you, you Just offering you black you. Americans tourism and emotional sensationalism don't, 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 don't is don't not go, evidence of you building in Africa. Don't let me go mace on you. Don't let me go mace on you. I'm saying talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah mace. mace. <laughs> I show the receipts. Yeah, mace, man. Yeah, mace show us your receipts, bro. Where's your land? I'm gonna show you the receipts right now. Bro, and then you're gonna show me the receipts of you living in your mama's basement, uh, praying oh, that you get reparations. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna cam up. Yo, yo, Brett. Yo, 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 Al, yo, Coon, Coon, Al Coon Hunter. Uh, <laughs> cam up. Put your cam on. Show us what you look like. He won't show us what you yo. look like. He, up, nigga. He's in his mama's basement. There's no lights down there. Mother's basement. Wow. Is that all you have to offer? Yeah, because like that non existent land and control, resources in Africa. Mother, and you live in a basement <laughs> and you guys play around with computers all day. Long. You yeah, you circle Jerka. Um, one of the share, share, biggest coons in American history, Marcus Garvey, mm -hmm. married Marcus to a white Garvey woman. The greatest kind of African white you woman. Don't appreciate his work because you're uh, a sidekick to Ernest Sever Cox, a grand wizard. I don't understand any of these he's things. He's a, a, a bussy warrior for G Ernest Sever Cox? Oh, really? man. Nah, he says bussy. That's the Tariq from Morris. Yeah, I didn't even know what that was, was until I heard Tariq there, bussy. He's like one of Tariq's little bitches. Yeah. Wow, aren't you? Have right, you listen here. Yet, listen here. Um, listen here. Uh, whatever you call yourself, Brandon the Hut. Uh, go back to your little village. Uh, and I'm gonna. He's making fun of Brandon. He's I mean, making so fun of Pam. Listen, listen, listen here, homie. I'm showing you the receipts. Watch, watch on this YouTube page. I'm showing you the receipts right there. Look, these are the receipts right here. These are, receipts, right? these are. I'm, I'm flipping through. I'm. It's a lot of videos, as you can see. If you can read properly, it's 128 videos over three years. We're showing you all aspects of what we're doing. That's not receipts. This showing of houses is not you, evidence you, you, of you, you see our, you see our banner. Where's the paperwork? The paperwork. Green's family, Bomani time alive. Show me your paperwork. Show me the papers. I gave you the website. You, you, Show me the receipt. I don't want YouTube videos. I want to do I don't want photo ops. I want paperwork. I'm going to show this. I want to see passports. Brother, we, uh, why would we show you passports? I want to see citizenship. In order for you to, idiot, you don't have to build yourself up. And All right, so what we have to do when we have idiots like this, we just have to just drop them down there and talk because every minute he wants to talk over, he asks me to show him receipts. I'm showing him the all of the land videos. Now, beyond the land videos. You know, what we're going to do is show you our website, Africa for the Africans, and I'll show you our documentation for our Black Star community. And if you don't like reading and you have a low IQ, I mean, don't waste my time because I'm a serious person. I'm not. Hey, but mind, let me say this before you continue. There's an old saying. Book. There's an old saying. If you want to hide something from a Negro, you put it in a book. Sure enough, one time I had a bunch of Nick, shady Negroes stay in my house one time. Years ago, I had some money, right? I wasn't trusted. I put it in a book. Guess what? <laughs> That money was still there. Niggas like, oh, book. Ugh. I ain't going to do that shit, you know? Niggas don't read. That's serious. So there, so there, there it goes. 
So what I what I'm gonna explain to him just like anybody else. We have we post our links for the community. We post information. The thing of it is, you have to you have to click and read and look at stuff. We're not gonna sit here and go over a whole lot of information. This is not this is not a conference call or this is not a program for us to talk in, exclusively about our community in Africa or about any of our Africa tours. The things that we share when we are having a dialogue about pan Africanism, we have created incredible topics of pan Africanism towards nation, and we're telling people. If you are not building anything and if you're not working on anything, you can't just come on here and question us because that is an ignorant, stupid conversation. You're not on our level to have those conversations. If you have an ad or if you just disagree with us, you can say, hey, me and my folks, we're doing this in America. Why are you worried so much about it's kind of like this guy is a new version of Nakmizi. Why are you worried so much about the one percent of black people that will go to Africa, live and do business? Why don't? Why can't you just be here and build business? It's a, it's a slave mentality, and that's the they, they don't that, want nobody to leave the plantation. That's the thing that he can't speak on. So, 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 um, let me just show him um, receipts. You want me to show him? I'm not gonna click on all these pages because I don't have time to do this, and this is not what we do. We are planning a presentation. So this is the layout. Our site map, land survey, GPS location of our community, and then you also have other other aspect of things where it shows you our incorporation. So I'm going to scroll down. It's just details you have to read. I don't know what else to tell people because that's the only way you can have an intelligent conversation with me. And here we are. That's our 15 acres of paperwork. I mean, so I don't know if you want me to show another receipt. That's one receipt right there. You're not going to get this paperwork unless you pay for the land. You're not going to get this paperwork stamp unless you take care of the People's Lands Commission. And that's the 60 acres, same situation. Then we have we have a layout for the future. This is uh, written and scribbled, but I'm going to get a digital version of that. But it's something better than what other people are doing. It's laid out and it's explaining our plans and what we're doing. All this stuff takes serious work and things. And, that you're dealing with, and you're only working with a very small percentage of black people that's interested in Africa. But what about all of our black people that we have in America? It's like the people that are so infatuated about myself and you, Colin, the rest of us are doing business in Africa. Why can't you organize a 99% of black people in America that will not have anything to do with Africa and organize them on a level where we can do business? Because all we're doing is setting up business in Africa. So you set business up in America so we can do business together and strengthen our nation. And if you can't understand these dialogues, what I'm saying to you, you're not on our, on our intelligent level and you're not an intelligent person that we need to speak to. And I'm not going to argue back and forth and screaming and yelling at people. OK, because I would never waste my time to get on any of you folks channel. It's no point for me to do that. Because I know what we're doing is only a small percentage of people. Yeah. <clears throat> we do, you just get deed, do you have the deed to the house? And what are you selling? Oh, if you're a businessman, what, 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 what products you, what are you selling? You? And when that shit gets stopped the, at the you. custom board right, listen, at the border? I'm going to show you the incorporation. And after that, I'm just going to eject you. Because you're still, yeah, that's just like my brother, uh, Bounty Kill us a lot of mercy. Here Where's your passport? Right what, what country are, are are you building this compound in? This is in Ghana. And brother, I'm here. This is me right here. It's in front of one of our house. Where's your passport? This is, this is me and the brother. Why would Where's I show you? I have, a, I have a Jamaican and a Ghana and, a, and a, I have a Jamaica and an American passport. And I also have a Ghana, uh, you know, Ghana non-residential card. Now, why and aren't I'm you Ghana, living there permanently? Why are you back in the States? Why do you keep coming this back? Is, Cause stupid. This is where I run my business from, you idiot. Go get a life and get a business. This is our incorporation. These are. The I'm receipts. not an idiot. I'm actually you're, intelligent. You're I graduated. Intelligent. You're not very intelligent because I'm showing. You're not you all very the intelligent you. because why are you? I'm showing you all the things we're talking about, and you literally keep on running them out. What else do I need to show you? You take your time and do your research on me before you have a, con a conversation with me. And like I said, you have nothing to contribute, so you're off. You're off, and I'm not wasting my time talking to you anymore. So you guys are gone. So that's what we do to people. Because after a while, we give your know, brother, Kala, what I can say is that we give people a chance to show their differences and prove something. And we have we have we have educated all of the, everyone else out there to let people know that these people are not intelligent. They're not about building anything. They're worried about the one percent of us. They're worried about the small 50 to 100 people that I take to Africa and maybe about five of them who move to different parts of Africa. They worried about that versus worried about. <laughs> Threatening a black organization, doing things in different part of the black community, and actually. Hey, brother, it's just like Bamani. It's just like black people when they.
uh, get a better job, they get a better house, they move into a better community, whatever like that. They go hating on them. You know, you got brothers that basically say, you know something, I, I'm not getting no love from the women in America, so they go to the DR or whatever like that. There's a whole campaign of uh, uh, people trying to stop that. You know, why are you going? So it's only a small percentage of brothers who will pass, that have passed what going overseas, but that's, it's all about psychological. People want you to be in bondage, right? YouTube and the internet has given people who oppress other black people for uh, a weapon, weaponized. In other words, basically, if it's only like 2% of us, 1% interested in Africa, right? that's too much for them. Even if 100% wasn't interested in Africa, the very thought that you might be interested in something else besides this miserable thing called trying to be black in America forever is not enough for them because misery loves company. You know, they're miserable in America. They're not going no place. They're getting shit on by the white man. And now they hate the black immigrants. They hate everybody. All they do is sit around, hate black immigrants, hate African immigrants, <laughs> hate the Mexicans, hate white people. All they do is hate, 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 hate. And then when somebody says, you know, something we're, we're building with people and doing productive and everything, instead of saying, yo, look, I said at the top of the show, I said, if you're in America and uh, if you don't like college justice, right, and you're doing something, I'll reach out to you and say, good work. And everything. If you don't believe in Africa, like that, good work. And we support you. Monty said that many times. We're not telling nobody they got to go to Africa. But they say, leave us the hell alone who, who wanted to build it on the continent. You know, that's what we're saying. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, uh, like, brother, like uh, Brandon the Hudson, why don't you build up Afghanistan and Haiti? So, this is why where the conversation comes where we can't really have a dialogue with you because you keep on telling us what we should do. I'm not. You know, just like when people get on here, you you from Jamaica, you should be doing this. Don't tell me what I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? I, I, I come in the lines of the, the Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey made the greatest sacrifice. He left his beautiful island to build with his own people in America and try to find other black people around the world so we can build a great Pan-African movement. And he literally revolutionized what was, you know, what was to be known as Pan-Africanism now with our interest going in Africa. If it wasn't for Garvey, there'd be no OAU. OAU, Garvey followers, as we ever saying, went to like... And they're the ones who organized the template for the OAU. It was OAU was founded in Liberia, you know, Gar with Garveyites that were living there. You know, they said they they need they realized after Garvey's in mind they need a state to operate out of, and that's why they, the steward and all these other people who became prominent in Liberia got with Kwame Nkrumah and Siko Torre and Tubman organized them to form the uh, the meeting for the OAU in San Quelle, uh, Liberia, in 1959. You know, learn your history. You know, yeah. if had it not been for the garbage, the OU would never have been formed. And that's why we got to keep on the experience these people learning about learning their history. This guy get on, this guy get on, um, Coon Killer, Coon Hunter, whatever the hell his name is. <laughs> he's, he's probably, he actually, he actually need to be, you know, <laughs> someone else need to be the Coon Hunter and he needs to be Brandon the Hut. You know what I'm saying? With his little small little village hut there and probably he's making fun, he's, yo, he's making fun of Pan Africa. North Dakota on a reservation. Right back. I got to that. <laughs> Uh, They're making fun of Brandon, man, these, you know, Brandon the Hutt. Man, you know? These clowns are funny, man. These guys are, I don't know, what, what is it about me and you where we attract all these people to come? That's, uh, to come yeah, to you know, I said like this, man, you know why? I'll tell you why. Because we're bringing this heat. No other show no one gets these people or some rock bring, brother. And that's besides what we're you and me. Why. We have a, and uh, B-Hoop, um, uh, go ahead and uh, introduce yourself and welcome to the call. Let us know what you want to share. Go ahead, sister. You're, you're unmuted. Uh, well, let me... I'll be hoop when you unmute yourself. Let's go ahead and uh, join the call. I navigate you on. Hello, buddy. Oh, Hello, Kala. Greetings, yes, greetings. you know, this oh, is the second time I, 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 I've witnessed an, an uh, agent provocateur infiltrate, you know, the, 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 the panel. You know, the <laughs> first one had, had the name, you know, uh, 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 a you know, a uh, uh, Nazi, not sleazy, uh, not, not sleazy, you know? not, not sleazy. You know, you, you know, from and then, then you got this guy call himself Brandon, Brandon the Hut. <laughs> yeah, he's making fun of Brandon Strip Pat Average Strike Back. Brandon, Brandon is, is, is what they that's call Brandon, that's supposed to be Brandon, um, President Biden. They say, they say, F you, Brandon, you know. So, you know, with a name like Brandon the Hutt, you know he ain't going to act right. You know he's going to get in there and just agitate. 
you know, because he's asking stupid questions. Is this about a, another level of freedom that we're looking for? The people that comes to the motherland, they come in here for, they're not, you know, they come in here for another level of freedom. You know, the, a level of freedom that they can't have in the USA. You know, it, this, it's not all about, you know, the money. Although, you know, there's, there's things you can do financially in, the, in, 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 in Africa that you can't do in the USA. So it's smart to well, most smart people make their money in the USA and spend it in Africa, you know, because you get a greater return on your, your investment. So, you know, from an economic standpoint, but, you know, it's, it's more it's, it's more than just economics that you can benefit from, you know, by coming to the motherland. You can benefit psychologically, you know, as well with, with, with another level of freedom opportunity wise. If you got the resources, you can do any damn thing you want. It's about building from the ground up, scratch up. You know, without, you know, fighting, you know, Europeans trying to get them to change the system that they have that, that's dominating you, you know. Uh, so but like uh, Harriet Tubman said, you know, I could have freed more people, you know, from the plantation if they only knew they were slaves. And people like Brandon, he's a slave in his mind. He's a he sees he, he, he has us. He suffered from a great deal of plantation psychosis and uh so, so he don't even know he's a slave, and that, uh, and he don't say he don't want nobody else to leave the plantation that he's on. He want everybody to stay on the plantation with him. <laughs> Absolutely, navigating. I appreciate you uh, sharing on that because you are one of the people that uh, you benefit from what we're talking about because you have made a move, and so you can. It's like you're you're you're, you're you know you're 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 my elder, and you live there. You have your life more organized. You know what I mean? But someone like myself. Even with all the business I'm doing, I can't just like get up and just move to Africa like that. And it's like I understand that you're a young that, man, but man, you got you got plenty of money to make in the USA. Here, and then you have your then most of my money comes from here. I got business here that if I leave here, it like, makes sense to me. Now, by the time you retire, Bomani, you'll be you you'll be you you. I want you to still be going back and forth. By the time you retire, I'm, I'm retiring. Like, I'm retiring at fifty. I'm retiring at fifty years old. I've been in this business for a while. I'm coming up on. Yeah, I know you've been in this business for a while. I know that. And, and then when I move to the next <laughs> phase of things, I'm just going to be managing our real estate and our all of our international operation, doing our tours, our investments, and working with you know what we have built in Liberia and Angola and all the things me and Kyla talk about. But we're telling people we're working towards these things and. And the, the fault that they have with us is that the fact that we're not living in Africa and things. Your and greatest that, achievement is not just bringing people to Africa, you know, and exposing, you know, uh, uh, people to to the the motherland. Your greatest achievement is those that, you know, those videos, those people that just sit back and check out the videos because, you know, you uh, you 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 bringing them along with you virtually. So you brought a whole lot more people, you know, to the motherland than those that bought plane tickets. Brother Navigate, appreciate you, man. Awesome.